Ultra Sampling is a procedure frequently done in wards. It is helpful in identifying organisms causing a systemic infection which will guide antibiotic therapy. It is therefore important to observe sterility during the procedure. You should always prepare the things needed for blood culture sampling on a blood taking trolley. These things are needed for taking a peripheral blood culture. A set of blood culture bottles consisting of aerobic and anaerobic bottle, a 20 ml syringe, a 21 gauge green needle, a 23 gauge blue needle, a dressing set, sterile whole towel, and a micropore or plaster. Your personal protective equipment includes a sterile apron, a pair of sterile gloves, and surgical mask. You may use the following antiseptic solutions for aseptic skin preparation. A 70% isopropyl alcohol followed by povidone iodine or just 2% chlorhexidine in alcohol solution. You should always introduce yourself to the patient. It is always important to identify the correct patient. You may do this by checking your patient's wrist tag and ensure that the patient's name and identification number tally. Proceed to take an informed verbal consent from the patient. Each blood culture bottle has a unique barcode. You should also check the expiry date stated on the blood culture bottles. There is a milliliter scale on the side of the bottles to help you gauge the blood volume needed. You may now put on your personal protective equipment. Your personal protective equipment PPE, includes a sterile apron and surgical mask. To prepare your sterile field, first wash your hands with alcohol rubbed by the WHO's 7-step hand hygiene technique using the no-touch technique. Drop your dressing set, syringe, needles, whole towel and sterile gloves into the sterile field. Your assistant should now help you pour in the antiseptic solution. Apply the tourniquet and find a suitable vein on the patient's arm. Perform hand rub once more and don your sterile gloves. Using two cotton swabs soaked with isopropyl alcohol, prep the skin in a circular motion from your venipuncture site outwards. Allow to air dry for 30 seconds, then followed by povidone iodine. Let air dry for 2 minutes with a similar technique. Now, you may place your whole towel. Assemble your needle to your syringe and puncture the vein. You should sample a minimum of 20 ml blood for two bottles, which would be at least 10 ml for each bottle. Once blood culture is obtained, instruct your assistant to remove the tourniquet. Use a dry cotton swab to compress onto the puncture site and remove your needle. Your assistant should now remove the plastic caps of the culture bottles. Clean the top of the bottles with alcohol-soaked cotton swabs. You may then insert the blood-filled syringe into the anaerobic bottle first. Using forceps, remove the existing needle and replace with a new needle. Post-procedure, ensure that there is no uncontrolled bleeding. You may clean off the povidone iodine on the patient's skin with alcohol. Then secure the cotton swab with a micropore or plaster. Ensure that all sharps are disposed into the sharp spin. This is our demo for blood culture taking. Should you find that this varies from your practice, kindly follow your local guidelines. Pause the video and carefully follow through. Hope this helps you during your off-call shifts.